Top of the morning to all you folks. Watch this here channel from time to time. It's your friendly neighborhood old soldier coming at you from a cool, foggy morning here in Robinson County, North Carolina. Fair warning. Don't show this video around the workplace. You can if you want to, but I'm telling you, it's not safe for work. And, uh, make sure ain't no little kids around the room when you decide to play this video. I am pissed off. Pissed off on more than one level. I'm sitting here, I'm looking at what's going on in the western part of this state, eastern part of Tennessee, parts of Georgia, Florida, Kentucky. There's reports coming out of western North Carolina that FEMA is intercepting voluntary aid and confiscating it. Local news here made an announcement this morning that uh, Fort Bragg's finally sending some troops, and I think some aircraft to the area. Should have already been there. The Adjutant General for the State of North Carolina. I've seen him on the news once. Along with this slave master, Roy Boy Pooper Scooper. And the man was about as lost as two blind monks. In a corn maze. Threatening people using private assets going in to rescue people. Threatening them with arrest. Yeah, you heard that. There's certain volunteers going up there out of out of pocket with their own equipment, their own aircraft, and being told that if they continue, they'll be arrested. damn dollars, Miss Kamala Kuki Harris. That's all that you can give. These people have lost every damn thing they own. But yet you sit there and sign a bill to pass millions, if not billions of dollars, to go to freaking Ukraine. Folks, we shouldn't pay one more damn dollar in taxes until all foreign aid to Ukraine has ended. And any other damn country around the world don't like us. towns have been wiped out in this state. Gone. And here we are dragging our feet getting aid to them. tell you right now things would be they could be doing a lot better job than what they're doing that brings me to my second point of contention which I did hear in the news they did come to an, a temporary agreement but that's them damn longshoremen that union 
especially that dude that's in charge of it. Looks like he belongs off the the TV show The Sopranos, one of Tony's boys. Yeah, I call out where I sit. Dude looks like he's in bed with the mob. Saw one channel guy was defending. Well, he's been doing it for 60 years. I give a rat's rear end. Man's living off, high off the hog, off other people's money and earnings. And he's going to sit here and, well, let's have a strike. Shut down all the ports. In the middle of a damn natural disaster going on, people need aid, need help, need materials, and you want to tell your people to go and strike, you sorry ass son of a bitch. You pissed off because the company's going to automation. Hmm. I said it before and I said it again. Unions are their own worst damn enemy. And if you're a union member and this bothers you, well, piss on you. I don't give a damn. Unions have cost me work in the past. Put me out of work. I got a family to support. 60, 70, 80 years ago, unions were a great thing. Not anymore. If you disagree with that, so be it. I don't give a rat's ass. You take all the damn unions and shove them up your ass for all I care. Selfish, greedy bastards go on strike when we got a natural disaster and people are hurting. Okay, they got a temporary agreement as of this morning. Temporary. Meaning they go right back on the picket line at some point in time. Again, upset because automation is taking away jobs. Well, you know what? That's what happens when companies want to save money because. Workers demand too high of wages. Now, I'm not saying they shouldn't get paid. They should. Dock work is not inherently safe. Loading and unloading them ships is dangerous. I get it. But to hold the whole damn country hostage, especially when you got people in need, that's just a foul move from a coward. Told my wife I'd be willing to go down to the ports, walk across their damn picket line, be a scab. I don't give a shit about being a scab. I've done it before. Do it again. No man has a right to tell me when I can and cannot work. Nor does he have a right to tell me who I can and cannot work for. And if that bothers some of you, you might want to go back and check your internal compass and see where your heart really is. Companies don't have a right to treat their workers like crap either. But at the same token, take a company owner, a business owner that has put everything they've got at risk and it provides jobs and stability. And you want to get upset because, well, you know, hey, y'all have demanded too much money. I can't afford that, but this machine over here can do the work of 10 of you. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't agree with it. But it's that man or that person's company. And maybe if some of y'all wouldn't be such damn prima donnas, the company might be willing to sit down and work with you on, all right, we're going to do this, but we'll retrain you to do this job at the same rate you're making now. Plain and simple. And for the companies, y'all need to go to Japan take a look at the Japan, the Japanese work model. You 
might have happier employees. Japanese companies take care of their employees. Pretty darn good about it. But yeah, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And that brings me to Roy Boy Pooper Scooper. Where the hell you been, you jackass? I've seen you on the news once. i tell you who I've seen on the news and social media on the ground. That's your competition, your Lieutenant Governor, Mark Robinson. Oh, where's your boy Josh Steiny? Where's Heine Steiny? Where's that ignorant son of a bitch? Oh, he's out having galas and balls to raise money. Nowhere to be seen. Oh, I'm, I'm not through. This goes to the Republicans. Where the hell Tom Tillis and Mr. Bud hadn't seen neither one of them senators on the ground? Two sorry ass bastards. Where the hell are they at? I've seen Mark Robinson on the ground. I've seen former President Trump on the ground. And you think with all the stuff that's going on with Mr. Trump. All the accusations, all the bullshit charges and trials. The man took time to go to Western North Carolina, and put his feet on the ground. Haven't seen that witch yet come. Not once. And if she does, she's probably going to go to Raleigh or Charlotte. God forbid she get her feet or her hands dirty. Somewhere where real work's involved. Sorry, I asked Cacklin in. I'll apologize for my language, folks, and ask you to forgive me, but I am irate with what's going on. But I won't take back what I've said. Again, if you're part of a union and I have offended you, you're just going to have to be offended. I'm fed up with it. Trying to hold a nation hostage right now when you've got people in dire need. It's ridiculous. It's a cheap shot. has a good weekend. If you have loved ones and friends and family affected in western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Kentucky, I will pray for them. Come November, folks, make it count. That being said, your aggravated, angry, irate old soldier will talk to you at a later time of date.